Hey guys, my name is Rishabh, and welcome back to another Discord video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my five top secrets for growing your Discord bots to get it into more servers and get it to have more users. Quick, easy, and fast. If you guys are looking to get the Discord Verified Bot Developer Badge, then definitely stick around to the end of this video to see all five secrets. Because trust me guys, these are going to be some secrets that are extremely useful to grow your guys' Discord bots. I'm actually a Discord bot developer, and I own multiple bots with hundreds of thousands of users. And I've used these five techniques to grow my bots to where they are today. So, come along and let's hop right into the video. Alright guys, secret number five is the help command. Over here, I have somebody saying, YT help. YT help, or any help command in general, is one of the first things that users will do while using your Discord bot. It's literally become a culture on Discord bots to have a sort of a help command or a commands command. If you don't have a help or a command command, people will not use your Discord bot because they won't know how. A help command is essential. And I'm going to show you guys a quick secret on getting more users and getting more servers in your help command. Before I get into the secret, I just wanted to say that only 0.5% of you are subscribers to my YouTube channel, so please consider subscribing. If this video helps you by the end, make sure to just spend a few seconds heading down below and hitting the subscribe button. Thank you so much. Over here, of course, we have a neat little page that has three different types of commands. Utility commands like ping, invite, suggest, report, YouTube stats, which is the purpose of the whole YouTube bot, like profile, channel, video, etc., and other, which just has a variety of other commands. Now most bots will just leave it at that. They'll just have this little page right here. But what we added is something called the Nexus, which are essentially quick little links that people can click on to support our bot. For example, invite the bot. So let's say I'm a random Discord user and I see these people using the YT bot. So naturally I'll think, hmm, let me try out the YT help. And over here, I see the invite me. So because of that, I'll be more tempted to click on this invite me and invite it to one of my servers. So that's a pretty straightforward secret to get your bot into some other servers easy and fast. But a lot of you guys are wondering, how do I get my Discord bot in more servers initially? How do I get people to even start using it like here, how people are just using it on a regular basis? Well, the answer to that is word of mouth. All right, you can't really get your Discord bot added to a bot list within a day or two. So because of that, um, word of mouth is typically the best technique for starting out your Discord bot. So let's get into secret number four. Over here, I'm in one of my friend's server. It's called Reef. And Reef is just a little uh, gaming and chill group uh, that has a lot of people from our local area. And over here, you'll see people are talking in the voice chat people are chatting in the chat room over here and what you don't realize but if you look at it closely you'll see is a lot of the people here actually own their own discord server for example i know not me here uh, has his own discord server um, he owns discord relics he owns abstract studios and some other servers just like that so if i go over into not me not me's dms and i say um hey not me do you want to add uh, my discord bot it will be quite useful for your server um, a lot of people will consider doing that and if you just explain to them honestly how your discord bot works and how it's useful they will consider adding the bot trust me on this before we continue with the next secret, guys, I want to tell you one quick thing. I know all of you guys out there are trying to grow your Discord bots, so make sure to leave a comment on today's video with two things. The name of your Discord bot and what your Discord bot does. I'll be DMing a few of you guys who comment those the answer to those two questions and I'll be personally checking out your Discord bots and giving you guys feedback on how to grow your bot. In fact, if it's good enough, I'll actually add it to my own server, the YouTube cafe, discord.gg YouTube, uh, which has over 8,500 active members. 
So that leads me to secret number three. And this secret is not for beginners, so I do not recommend it for beginners. But let's say you are an advanced bot user. You have your bot in a few thousand servers, but you really want to start making money from your bot or getting people to join your Discord server from the bot. Well, today I'm going to show you a quick little secret number three on how you guys can do this very, very easily. And it's a little bit sketchy, so please be wary of that. And that is to simply purposely sabotage your Discord bot. Okay, I know how it sounds, but yes, purposely sabotage your Discord bot. Now, I don't mean shut down the bot entirely, but kill one of the commands. Let's say I see people here. Oh. A lot of people are using this YT profile, YT profile, YT profile, YT profile. Um, there's some other videos here, a YT profile. So there's a lot of people using this profile command. And because of that, let's say I go into my raw code and I just edit this profile command. So um, over here, one quick second as I show something interesting. Over here, instead of saying incorrect command usage for this profile command, it instead shows um, an error occurred, an unknown error occurred. Please report this. Join our support server. People will literally join your support server and have the link just like this. So it has the little invite. As you can see in the bottom left corner of the screen, it has the invite hot link to it. So people can click on it just in one click and they join the support server just like that. People will literally join your server. I've done it time and time again. I know it's a little bit sketchy, but it is actually a great way to get people in your support server. And because of that, then you can create a donate channel and say that, oh, guys, we're sorry for the issue we had today, but consider donating. This will help us host it better. And of course, once you have your Discord bot in many, many servers, pr prioritizing uptime is definitely a benefit. So I don't recommend doing this a lot, but you know, occasionally doing this, it's not a big deal. So that moves me on to secret number two. So now let me get into the core of today's video, which is Discord bot lists. Over here, I'm in a Discord server. It's called Discord Bot List, and this is the site for top.gg. You've probably heard of the site before or maybe have gone to it in the past. If you're familiar with Discord bots, it's top.gg over here. And you may be thinking, I already have my Discord bot on top.gg. Well, stay tuned because I'm about to show you guys some secrets that are actually really, really insane. So. If you don't already have your Discord bot on top.gg, you have to do this this instant. First log in in the top right corner, and then press this little add bot. Add your bot just like that, uh, fill in all of this information in detail, and submit. Make sure you're following the top.gg terms, which can simply be found uh, by joining their Discord server and checking into the rules and FAQ. So, now once you have your Discord bot on top.gg, you can get people to vote for your bot. Now, what does votes mean? Essentially, every month, top.gg has uh, votes for Discord bots, and if your bot gets voted for a lot, it gets to rank up here on this top little page or appear on the trending page. And I've experienced this firsthand with my YouTube bot getting number one on trending for over 35 hours, which allowed it to get um, around 2000 servers and I think over 300,000 users just for trending on top.gg. Now, you may be thinking, what are the secrets relating to this? And I'm about to show you how. So in Google search, type in NPM D bots. All right. And on this top link right here, you'll see this D bots dash NPM. Go ahead and click on this. Then uh, scroll down to over actually uh, at the very top right here, you'll see this little supported services. Click on this supported services and then click here. Over here, you'll see 21 Discord bot lists. Yes, you may be just familiar with top.gg, but I've just showed you 20 others that you can add your Discord bot to. Now beware, some of these are outdated, like for example, I do not believe Carbon is currently adding Discord bots, so please be wary with this, but the majority of them are, and you can easily get your bots added. Uh, for example, Discord bots right here, if I type in YouTube, um, let's see what shows up. 
over here because um, we don't have our bot uh, prioritized on this one we currently optimize only for uh, top.gg but over here actually I see uh, my bot here YouTube it's uh, over here so then what you can do is you can use the dbots npm package if you're using javascript and you can post um, your, the amount of servers you have to all of these sites literally with just a few lines of code as you can see here so you can input your api keys for each of these websites and if you have no idea what i'm talking about do not worry about it but this is a wonderful way to literally get your bot added to at least 20 discord bot lists and then post the api keys for all of them getting them to rank high and get a lot of users quickly now this leads me to the number one way to get your discord bots in more users and more servers very very quickly and this is solely rests on the top.gg website this website literally gets millions of clicks it gets millions of views and the people who you see here are getting their bots added to thousands of servers basically daily um, over here we have a metal bot donate bot and some of these other bots right here and they are getting added like crazy um, the bot owners are literally making thousands of dollars off of their uh, off of their development and it's a really amazing environment here so you may be thinking why is top.gg uh, so good and the reason because of this is their very esteemed voting system. So top.gg was one of the first sites to implement voting and that it essentially made it so users um, who own Discord bots would basically force users to vote for their Discord bot in order to rank higher on top.gg. So now let's say I have my YouTube bot over here. I'll make it so that the profile command is only available for voters on top.gg. So they must vote for my Discord bot, um, which leads my bot to become more popular and uh, thus leads it to rank higher and get my bot in more users and more servers. Another thing you've probably noticed on top.gg is this little yellow card. Now what's this yellow card? Why are these people promoted? How do I get my server or my bot promoted on top.gg? Well, in this top right corner, you'll see a little advertise button. And I've actually used the advertise function myself. So you can all you can get access to this little feature called auctions and basically um, allow yourself to spend money on uh, top.gg to promote your bot. And you may be thinking, oh, do I have to pay hundreds of dollars to get these spots? Actually, yeah, to get these little yellow cards on this top page right here, you actually have to pay hundreds of dollars because these bots are getting thousands upon thousands of servers. But I'll show you guys a few little tags that are very, very useful and you can literally buy them for a dollar or two. So for example, over here, um, you'll see all of these tags right here. I'll show you guys a few ones that I personally noticed that are very helpful. There's the social tag. Over here we have DAC advertise and you'll notice this empty card right here. Guess how much this spot costs? I believe it costs one or two dollars. That's how popular you can get your server um, or your, even your bot, for example, po uh, popular by using top.gg auctions. Another one I've noticed is media. And actually last week I bought the media tag for my YouTube bot. Um, so it got right here if just for dollar one. It was literally just one dollar um, and it got a few thousand impressions, which probably led to a few hundred gained servers. So this is an extremely helpful way. Uh, it's very cost effective to get your bot promoted on top.gg and even if you do not have a lot of funds you can get it promoted and later when you start accepting donations through your support server or through premium perks for your bot you can make the money back and keep investing in it to get it even more popular all right and guys those are my five secrets but don't leave just yet because i have one final zeroth secret for you all and that is getting your bot verified over here you'll see a little bot tag on any discord bot on discord and this little bot tag essentially tells you that this account is not a normal user and they are a bot account now what you'll notice is if i actually go um, to my youtube bot 
it has a different bot tag. It has a little check mark next to it. Now, what does this mean? It means it's a verified bot. And if I go onto my main account and go to my profile, you'll see a little badge right here that says verified bot developer. Now, a verified bot developer essentially means that you own a Discord bot that's in over 100 servers and it has been explicitly verified by Discord, so you've become a verified bot developer. Now, you may be wondering, how can I get this cool badge and how can I get this on my bot so it ultimately makes it look cooler and can potentially get a few extra servers and a few extra users. Now, luckily, I've actually made an entire video on that topic. So make sure just to stick around for the next few seconds and I'll have it up on this end screen right here so you can check out my video on how to get your Discord bot verified step by step. Trust me guys, it's a really good video and the badge looks cool anyway, so it's worth a shot. All right, guys, so thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them below, and I will see you guys in the next video.